All right, just tried to make a live stream, guys. Couldn't do it, so we're going to do uh, some TA very quick. I'm on a job site and want to take care of you guys. Um, uh, hopefully, uh, let me make sure the sound's looking good. Sound's looking good. All right, let's look into the chart here. Uh, welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. I'm a crypto analyst here and uh, here to help you understand the market. So let's uh, let's just jump in here. All right, a couple of options here for BTC. Don't have time to go through everything. I want to get this information to you quickly. Uh, Bitcoin is hanging in the balance, okay? Uh, the, the count is either up or down, obviously. But uh, the count is really, really just hanging in the balance right now. Uh, so let's talk about what, uh, what it's doing. Uh, we have a three-wave move to the downside. It comes to a corrective FIB level, so that's looking fantastic. But what would that mean in the grand scheme of the count? Um, Is that the first three-wave move to the downside? Then we get a three-wave move to the upside. Uh, I'm expecting another three-wave move to the downside. That's the way I would think would happen. Um, so if that's the case, I'm trying to find a time frame that looks good. Um, we've got this wave right here has come to the one-to-one -one extension. Uh, it might try to go on up to the... Uh, the 1276, but I highly doubt it. We had this wick to the downside. That's like a, a wave one to me. And then the rejection was the wave two. Uh, we, hopefully we'll get a wave three coming down here pretty shortly. Um, Ethereum might be uh, telling the tale as well. So we're going to use Ethereum as well for uh, for that. So the downside count would be that we have an ABC down. we got an ABC up looking for an ABC to the downside. That, so we're looking for a WXY. That would be a, a triple... Uh, double zigzag, something like that, and we'd be looking for one-to-one -one extension at least of that. And that would be kind of the first move, like a W wave. Um, unless this turns into, guys, unless this turns into a leading diagonal, which is another possibility. But right now, we're at a critical juncture where we could have a reversal to the downside, uh, or we could uh, be going up for bull. Um, and we could be, you know, going up a little steeper at least for bull. But I'm thinking if we go up, guys, I mean, listen, Ethereum uh, is going to be heading up. Uh, Litecoin is going to be heading up. Um, everything is looking up for the alts. Uh, this is looking like maybe a, a, a ending diagonal for uh, Litecoin. It needs to finish out. Um, it, at least it looks like it needs to finish out um, based on the macro. I'm all over the place right now and I feel it, but that's okay. I'm just I'm just telling you all the things I'm looking for. We've got this you know huge bull move here uh, for Litecoin, but it, but it looks like we're getting the fifth wave. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, and now we're making the fifth wave. So Litecoin should be finishing up um, its move here. Uh, now, I'm not exactly sure. If we break this high here, guys, uh, on Litecoin, uh, if it breaks this high, guys, it, it, we're going to be feeling pretty bullish uh, in the market, I believe. Uh, I would believe that, uh, unless this is some kind of an expanded flat. Or Okay, we haven't even hit the one-to-one -one extension yet. So, so for us to rise... Uh, we're rising higher than this wick here. That's pretty. That's pretty an interesting move. We are hitting the 786 extension, which has been an ex a port, an, an, an important extension in this m movement. But this uh, this right here is um, this wave right here is not five waves. It did not finish a five wave move. This is three waves, and this could be five. So this is a three three five maybe. Uh, but this didn't come down 90 percent as well. So this was short and truncated. Uh, a little confused by it, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, uh, Litecoin's confusing a little bit. Now Ethereum is a little bit more uh, plain and simple, and that's why I've been uh, looking at that a little heavily today. Let me show you what uh, what I'm looking at with uh, Ethereum. So Ethereum, Ethereum, uh, you know, came down, went up in three waves. Uh, now this came down in five waves. It came down in an impulse, five waves here. So I'm expecting a three-wave pullback and then another five waves down. That's that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'd like to see. Uh, so uh, I've got this was a five-wave move. Now I'd have to reinterpret it as a three-wave move uh, if we're going to go up uh, up to the upside. But here's the deal. This is a three-wave move right here. Okay, and this is a five-wave move. Either we've got an A, B, C, and it's truncated and finished, and now we're getting, uh, you know, an impulse wave to the upside, which I do not think. And the reason I don't think that is because none of this looks impulsive, except this wave right here. 
Okay, so we'd have to say that some wave finished here, but it's truncated because it didn't make a lower low here, and that just doesn't make sense to me at all. Uh, the, let me show you the count that makes sense to me in Ethereum, and I just showed it to you, but let me show it to you. Uh, let me help you understand it. Um, three wave move here. We've got five wave impulse, so this is a five. Then we got, um, we're getting a, let's see, a five, we're getting a three wave, and now we're going to get a five. So the three wave here is delineated like this. Uh, let's see, this finished the five. We got a flat A, B, C, or W, X, Y is what we've got. Now, we have come up and we are at the 1618. We are at the one-to-one -one extension of this wave here for an A, B, C wave. It really, 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 uh, 193 is going to be the line of demarcation here, guys. If uh, if Ethereum comes up and hits 193, um, then uh, that's a very, very bullish sign. A very bullish sign. Uh, if we get a reversal here, and you can see how the price action has been wanting to reverse here, um, and so the the market knows that this is a there's bulls and there are bears fighting right now, uh, fighting over which way we're headed. Uh, the bulls want to push it up, push it up, push it up, and the bears are like, no, this needs to go down. Uh, I'm a bear right now. I I think this was a finished wave here, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, of course, that that wave right there is kind of odd. Um, but uh, if we come up here some more, then I'm going to have to reconsider this uh, count for sure. So, yeah, that's what we're looking at here, guys. Um, it, it's really hanging in the balance. I need I need five finished waves here. I've got one, two, uh, three, four, five. This looks like a five finished waves to me. Uh, it looks like we need to come on down. We could be starting a beginning diagonal of some kind, but maybe not starting to come up a little higher than I like. Um, to, I'd like to see for that diagonal shape. So uh, that may be not the case. All right, so with all that being said, uh, we are hanging in the balance here. I know this is all over the place because I'm feeling pretty pretty rushed to get this to you. Uh, one of the reasons I'm feeling rushed is because I'm, I'm, I'm late getting it. The market's kind of doing something, some very uncertain things, so I want to get this to you. But I want to explain to you that this is uh, very, very, uh, the, the, the count is in the balance, okay? Um, upside and downside are both valid right now. So I'm, I'm waiting for this move to the downside. But if we start pushing up a little higher than this, uh, you know, 49, uh, excuse me, 94, 94 uh, is going to give us a confirmation of bull to the upside. I hate that it's so far away, but uh, that would give us a confirmation of a bull move to the upside. Uh, let's look at the wave structure here. Uh, of this wave and see if there's any kind of wave structure that supports a, a bull move. And so you'd have to be able to uh, consider this first wave impulsive. And, and I woke up this morning and I measured it out. I said, oh, wow, that looks like an impulse. Okay. And I actually uh, I actually shared a, uh, a trade in the trading group here. Let me show it to you. Um, right here, I uh, basically said here, uh, we had an impulse wave right here, got a three-way pullback, and we're going to take the trade and go up. So that was the trade setup I shared this morning in the trading group, um, and that's exactly what it has done. But the question is, is that over? I knew that uh, we have two possibilities here. We could simply be making an A, that's a five-wave A, this is a B wave, and this is a, you know making a five-wave C. So we need five waves in that. The problem with that, I mean, there is five waves here, and it does come to the one-to-one -one extension. It could completely be done. Now, if that's the case, then this move right here, this this wick down here, was a one wave to the downside. We're getting a three-wave pullback, okay? Uh, and then what could happen from here is that we, we, we go down from there. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, like that. And, um, of course, we would need to come down in three waves, really. So, uh, sorry. Uh, because we came down in three waves here, we went up in three waves here, we need to come down in three waves here. And so we'd be looking for at least a one-to-one -one extension of those two waves. What would that be if that's the case? Uh, 
uh, one to one gets us down to 89.65 for that a three wave move. Okay, so it's got to come down now, though. I mean, it, it, it needs to come down. If it if it breaks this high here, it can go up. You know, to be honest with you, I don't think it can either. Uh, the wave structure isn't going to support it. Um, five wave, three wave. Well, that's a triangle. One, two, three, four, five, three. Hmm. Thinking out loud here, guys. One, two, three, four, five. There's five waves there. Got a three wave pullback. Came down. So that's a one, two to me. That's not. Okay, that's good. That's a one, two, or an A, B. Okay. We're starting to move up here. If we break this high, it's going to look bull to me. So if we break this high right here, it's going to look bull. I will probably trade that to the bull side if it if we break this high. Definitely feel a lot better about when, once it's 94.94. If we reach that, I will definitely go long uh, there. It's a little late entry for me, but uh, I think we're going to get some major upside if we reach the 94.94 level uh, or or surpass it, I should say. This could be a 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two, and we're going to get a large bull move here. All right, guys, that's the TA for today. That's all I can give you for now. Uh, I've got to get this out to you before this death. This thing come, comes on down and breaks the low. We're heading down. If we break this high right here, most likely we're heading up uh, for a bullish move uh, today. So uh, watch out. Be careful. Be safe. Lots of shenanigans happening today, so trade safely. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.